guys, I have a confession to make. Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi dog, hi baby. Ooh, hi Mimi. I love my dog, don't judge me. And if you are new here, hello. Nice to meet you. Name's Amanda. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. Um, that confession thing I talked about earlier, yeah. I don't understand something. I know I've done dating videos in the past, but I'm serious about this one. See, I've never been to a dance with someone. I've never been on a date with someone. I've never gone anywhere with one person, unless, like, as not friends. How do they work? <laughs> Seriously, I've really thought about it, and I'm thinking to myself, if I ever get a date, I'm gonna have to ask them some serious questions, because I don't know what you're supposed to be doing. Like. Um, if you go to a dance with someone, do you ask them to slow dance with you? Or do you literally just slow dance with them because that's what you're supposed to do? I mean, are you supposed to ask someone or is the other person supposed to ask you? I know I sound like a five-year-old kid that's just confused about life, but I'm generally confused here. We all know how, well, if you don't know, then I'll give a short story. Um, make sure you watch my video, Dance Disasters, to find the long version of this. But I had asked a guy to a dance, and he said yes, and then, long story short, he didn't show up. So, that was supposed to be my experience for dances and dates, but I didn't get it. I am afraid that whoever goes on, like, the first, like, dance or date with me is gonna be disappointed in my ability to function. Ugh! <laughs> and then I'm really thinking about, like, dates in general, like, when do you, like, someone's like, you wanna go out on a date? And they're like, yeah. When do you decide where you're going? Like, do you physically sit down, talk to them, and be like, okay, are you picking me up? Are we getting... Or is that just wrong to talk about it? Like, I'm actually confused. I feel like in movies and TV shows, it just happens naturally. Like, they ask each other out on a date, and then it's big cut scene, and then it's to the date. What happens in between? What is everything that was cut out and thrown in the trash? Is it boring? I mean, what happens? I don't have anyone to talk to about this. I mean, um, my friends didn't really go on dates, and they don't really date people, and then i have been single my whole life. I mean, it's not a bad thing, because my mom's, like, trying to protect my childhood and everything, but she said that I could go out to dances with people, because that was just, like, crude, rude if she'd be like, oh, sorry, Amanda, but you can't go with him to the dance. I mean, that's, like, oh, stupid. Seriously, I'm actually concerned and confused. Like, um, imagine this. You're at the dance. You're looking around for your date, and there they are, and then there are your friends. Do you say hi to your date first that you're going to, or do you say hi to your friends first and wait for your date to come find you? What do you do in that situation about hurting anybody's feelings? Or like in every single dance, I normally hang out with my friends. If I had a date, who would I hang out with? I want someone to hold my hand, sit me down, and just talk. I want, like, my, all my questions and all my, like, what I'm curious about to just, like, come out of my ear in this big long list, like in some cartoon I know I've seen before, flip it out, and then be like, ma'am, these are my questions, help. I don't feel bad whoever answers the questions, because they're like, oh, child, you have so much to learn. And I do. I really positively, bodily do. All these things in, like, in movies and TV, they happen so good. And so smoothly. Like, what if the girl says no? There. Whole movie's done. Everything you were planning out from that area, gone. <laughs> what if the girl asked the guy? I don't think I've seen a single movie where the girl asked the guy out. And I want to see that, please. <laughs> Call me a feminist. I don't care. Just please. Honestly, I'm just using this YouTube video as a tangent and a rant. I mean, and then, like, there's these people that when you ask them out, on a date, you automatically assume, in high school and middle school you do, that you're dating now. That, hey, that's my girlfriend, or hey, uh, that's my boyfriend. Excuse me. And then I have no idea what you're even supposed to do half the time on dates. I mean, you got your food, you they sit down, you're eating, now what? You just start talking to each other? Like, do you just look down and be like, so how's the weather for today? Oh, it's great. I mean, I just drove here and it's fine. Okay, okay, thanks. That's, that's good to know. Thanks. So, dates 
I don't understand them. I don't know how someone could just have no experience and have a perfectly good date. I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me. I can't. If someone asks me out on a date, they better have everything planned and tell me everything or I'm going to bombard them with questions. And I don't know if that's a good trait or a bad trait to have, but I want to make sure everything goes a okay. If you guys enjoyed this video or if you agree with me, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button down below. I've been told this is annoying and that this end thing is very annoying and very terrible and that I shouldn't do it anymore. But, yeah, and the, uh, uh, juicy. And make sure you hit the my post notifications button to make sure uh, I'm just going on a roll today. <laughs> make sure you hit my post notifications button so that you know exactly when I upload and when I upload. And I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye. <laughs> Dang it, stop messaging me. I, I just got a text from a friend, that's why I screamed stop messaging me really loud in a really unattractive and very loud projectile voice.